Hola everyone, it's Pocono Pam, and I am participating in the 12 Days of Christmas event over at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And I will leave the link down below to both their blog and their Art Fire account where you can purchase goodies from Patty and Doreen. Well, today is day seven of their event. And I'd like to quickly mention that today is also Linda's birthday. Happy birthday, Linda! And I also want to thank Patty and Doreen for including me in this awesome, awesome event. And please stop by and leave a comment on this video and the videos, you know, going forward or the um, posts going forward on their blog. And check out all the great, awesome things that uh, the other scrappers and artists are doing. And if you leave a comment, you'll be eligible to win a prize from Patty and Doreen, which they will announce the very next day. So my, I wanted to challenge my inner Susie Crafter, and she participated in day one of this awesome event, and make something really vintage and beautiful. So I took something old and I made it new again using Ooh La La Vintage Treasure products and some products that I had in my stash. I purchased this wooden box from a yard sale. It was just a plain blue wooden box. And it was a more dull kind of blue. I painted over again with a slight crackle effect that you really can't see. And if I bring it too close to the camera, it would just annoy you. But I did paint it. Uh, blue. Real quickly, let me show you the inside of the box. That's what attracted me to the box in the first place. How it came with like a little quilted pad both in the bottom and on the lid. So I thought that was really neat. And what I did was, if you could see this awesome lady right here, she has beading. I'm sorry, my camera's doing its own thing right now, so sorry about that. She has beading right there, which I want it reflected in my project. So I took lace that I had in my stash and I put it all around the edge of the lid. I just used hot glue. I placed it there. Then I took beads that I had in my stash and also went around the lid on this vintage playing card that I have of a young lady drinking Pepsi Cola. I also place the beads around the playing card. Now as for the goodies from Ooh La La, this paper here is Webster's Pages. I bought two sheets of it. It was really, really pretty. And actually this here is a mirror, but what I did was I placed the playing card in there instead. This little doodad here, I just had in my stash, but I like the bead because it reflected the beads and the or pearls right here. This awesomely beautiful item right here. This is a bouquet that I bought from Patty and Doreen's site over at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And I saw it online, but when it arrived, it was so much prettier in person. Okay, this little flower here I got as a thank you gift for purchasing products from their site. So I received three of those from Patty and Doreen. These two little roses here were in my stash. But this bouquet, you guys, you have no idea how awesomely beautiful it is. And has it includes this little tiny rose. And it includes this uh, little flower as part of the bouquet as well. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So what I did was, after adhering, uh, the, after inking the edge of the paper, like I cut it out to the shape of the lid, I adhered the paper onto the top of the lid, then with a hot glue gun, I just applied this beautiful bouquet. Like it needs no more work. I mean, if, if you want to get one and spritz it up or add to it, but it actually it needs no work work at all. Just place it on any product and it um, project and it would enhance it greatly. It's just beautiful. 
On this side of the lid, I also use, there goes the other two flowers that Patty and Doreen gave me, along with the little flower I had in my stash. As I said, I bought two pages of the Webster pages off their site. And what I did was I took images from the second sheet and I fussy cut it and adhered it on top using pop dots just to give it some dimension. Beneath that, I just threw in some leaves that I had in my stash. And voila! Isn't that the prettiest thing? Like you can just really take like an old box, whatever, and just, just this spray alone, the bouquet alone, would have added to that alone. Just this. It is so pretty. So I'm definitely going to order some more of these. And I had so much fun making this project. As I said, I wanted just to tap into my inner Susie crafter and make something really pretty and simple and shabby chic and vintage. And oh, those are all the things that Linda likes. And Linda also likes Pepsi Cola. So this is a gift I made for Linda using goodies that I had in my stash and awesome products from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And this is for you, Linda. Happy birthday. I hope you like it. It You should be opening this today, huh? You should have gotten this already in the mail. But just one more peek so you guys can look. Love, I know, you're tired of me saying that I love that bouquet, but I absolutely do. Such a simple gift, adding the really nice products that you can get from Patty and Doreen and make something really, really pretty. This can be used um, as a display, you know, somewhere in, in Linda's home, or she can put it on her scrap desk and put some goodies in there. Once again, thank you for taking a peek, and don't forget to hop on over to the blog, and you'll get more information about this pro um, project on the blog, and you can see uh, pictures of the products that I used so thank once again. Thank you. Everyone has an awesome day. Be safe. Take care. And remember that we're all creatively created. And thanks again, Patty and Doreen, for having me be part of your 12 Days of Christmas event. Bye, everybody. Adios. Cheers. <laughs>